like that of a fine watch, giving synchronized function to all working parts. Although sprockets advance the film at constant speeds, the flow of film past the light source must be interrupted. Otherwise, we would see not motion picture, but motion blur. To prevent this, we need a device called a shuttle, which reaches into the film and pulls down one frame at a time. Obviously, a poorly designed shuttle can cause film damage. However, the Bell & Howell shuttle is a precision component made from stellite, one of the hardest alloys known. It's a very expensive part, but Bell & Howell's commitment to design integrity and film protection demand its use. Moreover, Bell & Howell is the only major projector to have a shuttle with three teeth instead of the usual two. In the event of torn perforations, it's the job of a shuttle to reach up and pull down the good perforations of the film. Three teeth obviously have a 50% better chance of recovering good perforations than do two. Of prime importance in safe film handling is the loop restorer. And Bell and & Howell has one of the best loop restorers on the market. Loops are needed to provide a supply of film so the shuttle can operate independently from the sprockets. When film starts to chatter, it means that the shuttle has encountered torn sprocket holes. Although the shuttle strokes, the film is not transported, and the lower sprocket removes the lower loop. The loop restorer must recover this loop, restore balance to the system, and eliminate film blur on the screen. If, however, the loop restorer pulls while the shuttle is engaging good film, the only result can be further damage. Only Bell & Howell and its Autoload brand and Manual Load 1579 models avoids this problem. By synchronizing the shuttle and the loop restorer, the loop restorer operates only when the shuttle is pulled back out of contact with the film. Some other user benefits common to Bell & Howell projectors are a plug-in solid-state amplifier for ease of service and permanent lubrication of the mechanism. Convenient, precise rack and pinion focusing by the turning of a knob, not the barrel of the lens. A product designed for every need and for every choice. Bell & Howell can proudly claim that it has the fullest line of dependable, high-quality 16mm projectors, the best in automatic load and manual load projectors. By far the biggest percentage of users prefer the convenience and efficiency of the auto-load projectors. But there is a considerable number of people who like to do things themselves. For those people, Bell & Howell has added a new member to the family, a manual load with the utmost convenience the new slot threading model, 1580. Given the choice, what design features would they want in this type of projector? We didn't assume. We went out to test it functionally. And here is some 8mm footage of testing activity. We called in teachers and audiovisual directors. But we also drafted people off the street, housewives, businessmen, kids. We had both the pros and the amateurs operate the 1580 themselves, as well as other projectors. We recorded our observations and determined where they had difficulties. We timed them, interviewed them, found out what they liked and what they didn't like. Later, we redesigned the 1580 based on the testing results and then went back and tested again. As a result of the field tests, all instructions and labels have been extremely simplified indicated according to function, as the user would think of the function. Someone who has never operated a 16 millimeter projector can run the 1580 without a word said to him. The operation is simplicity itself, as simple, in fact, as one, two, three. Just follow the big numbers. Swing the lever down to position one. Take the end of the film and pull it under position two, all the way around the groove. Attach the film to the rear reel. Bring the lever up to position three. The loops are set, the gates are closed. It's ready to go. The main control tells it exactly as it is. You simply turn the control to project. 
film chatter isn't likely to occur in the 1580, unless the film is in pretty bad shape. But if it does happen, a touch of the loop reset, and it's right back in business. And here's another great feature. If you want to show only part of a film, there's no problem. With this easy to operate manual load machine, just flip the lever down to position one and the gate opens. Slip the film out of the film path. Raise the rear reel arm and rewind. The high speed clutch is built into the reel arm so it automatically goes to high speed rewind. The new Bell & Howell Easy Slot Threading Projector has joined a proud family. The fullest line of 16 millimeter projectors on the market, including the high intensity projectors 566 and 567, the unchallenged leaders for auditorium use. And the 561 and 562 film chain projectors, the best buy on the market for that purpose. A full line where every feature of every model has been designed and oriented towards user benefit. The conventional manual load 1579 to meet the needs of those who demand a manual load with all the basic Bell & Howell quality features at a budget price. The low priced auto load 1585 which is found in more classrooms around the country than any other 16 millimeter projector. The lightest auto load projector, the 1590. In addition to its ability to meet every film projection need, its light weight makes it a great rental unit. And the choice of those who want the very best in 16 millimeter projectors is the Bell & Howell Auto Load 1592. We produce the first automatic threading projector in the film world, and we still produce the best. The 1592 still handles film better than any other. Bell & Howell auto loads are still the easiest to operate. Simply trim the end of the film, engage the auto load mechanism, turn on the projector, and feed the film into the film path. The results of the field tests we conducted on the new 1580 have also improved the design of the auto load projectors. The easy to handle controls have clear functional labels. The 1592 lets you stop the motion and view a single frame of the film. The control is a convenient lever located as a separate functional unit at the top of the projector. And for those who want to show sequential action, frame by frame, there is the direct motion feature. Another result of the field testing was to provide our two top auto load models with a hinged lamp access door made of tough Norel plastic. Changing a lamp now becomes a very simple task. It all makes sense. First, discover the desires and the needs of people who actually will use motion picture projectors. Then, integrate the design to meet those needs. Reliability, safe film handling, good picture quality, convenience and simplicity of operation, and then offer the choice of full horizon in motion from Bell & Howell.